Hello students. Today you will be learning the purpose of an encyclopedia and how it is used. There will be a presentation and a demonstration video. Please pay attention to the video and activity will follow. Thank you. Objective. Students will be able to use an encyclopedia to locate information. The Georgia Performance Standards for third grade in relation to this activity. The Georgia Performance Standards in relation to fourth grade for this activity. The Georgia Performance Standards for fifth grade in relation to this activity. Here's a list of the information literacy skills that are used. Use it in encyclopedia. What do you think encyclopedias are? They are a set of books that have information on lots of subjects. Because of the amount of information, they all can't be in one book. They are divided into smaller books called volumes. The volumes are in alphabetical order and they are numbered to help with the shelving. How is an encyclopedia organized? It is organized in alphabetical order with guide words and is drawn up like an outline. How is information organized within each topic? You use boldface words and titles. Why do you think they're organized that way? Because they're easy to read and they're easier to locate specific information. To use an encyclopedia, the subjects are arranged in alphabetical order with guide words. To find a subject, look for the letter it begins with and choose that volume. Use the guide words to find it, like you use a dictionary. For people, remember, use the last name. For places with two parts, use the first part, the first letter of that word. Please pay attention to the video clip. When you are researching for a report, a great place to start is in an encyclopedia. Encyclopedias are sets of reference books or CD-ROMs full of information about many different subjects. Let's watch a story about the pyramids of ancient Egypt. Then we will learn how to look for more information in an encyclopedia. In ancient Egypt, each pharaoh had his own pyramid built to house his mummified body for eternity. The construction of each pyramid took many years and required vast amounts of stone and manpower to build. The first pyramids were step pyramids. King Djoser decided to build a wall around his tomb. But this wall hid his burial mound. So he built another mound on top of the old one and then added another. That was how the step pyramid came to be. King Sneferu designed the more familiar shape that is square at the base with triangular sides that come together at a point. Its ancient name was the Shining Pyramid because its white stone shimmered in the sun. Two of Sneferu's sons, Khufu and Khafre, built the world's largest pyramids just a few miles away on the Giza Plateau near modern-day Cairo. The Great Pyramid of Khufu, built in 2680 BC, was named one of the seven wonders of the world and is the largest pyramid ever built. Let's take a closer look at what we have learned about the pyramids of ancient Egypt and see how to find more information in encyclopedias.
you can find encyclopedias in the reference section of the library. Encyclopedias are organized alphabetically. The first step in researching encyclopedias is to find the right volume or book. To look up the word pyramid, pull the volume with the letter P on its spine and do an alphabetical search for the word pyramid. If you cannot find the subject you are looking for, turn to the volume labeled index. The index located in the back of the encyclopedia is also arranged alphabetically. The index lists all of the subjects that are contained in the entire set of encyclopedias. Let's flip through the index to find the word pyramid. Pyramid, book P, page 57. When you open an encyclopedia, you'll notice many entries about various topics. Quickly scan through the entries, searching for your word. Once you have found the word, you can read the entry to learn more. An encyclopedia is a great source for finding information about a topic, because encyclopedias have historical, geographical, scientific, and cultural facts. Many entries also include illustrations, maps, charts, and photographs. The pyramid entry has a photograph of a pyramid in Egypt. This helps us visualize what an Egyptian pyramid looks like. There is also a map of Egypt. Now we also know where our pyramid is located. At the end of each entry, there is a reference list that tells you other places in the volumes that you might look. This entry tells us that you could find more information by looking up key words. Mummies, Pharaoh, Sneferu. Encyclopedias are sets of reference books or computer CDs full of information about many different subjects. Look up the word pyramid in your encyclopedia. See what maps or pictures your encyclopedia includes. Thank you for your cooperation. If you have any questions on using an encyclopedia, please ask your parents, teacher, or your local librarian.